Good morning. It is Wednesday, right? Uh, April 1st, April Fool's Day. And I discovered yesterday I have a, after much research and uh, soul searching, I found that I am indeed a Hufflepuff uh, in the Harry Potter homes. And to celebrate that, I often go to half-price books and find coffee mugs and this one is a Hufflepuff mug but the magic of this and I don't know if there's enough coffee oh there might be we'll see if this works or not mm -hmm. I hope it does otherwise epic fail I'm stirring the honey and the cream of course if this will work or not Anyway, starting to show a helpful puff. <laughs> so anyway, my fun for today. My devotion this morning comes from a uh, Luther Seminary uh, devo daily devotional called God Pause. And this one is written by Joy Moore, who's the Associate Professor of Biblical Preaching at Luther Seminary. She takes from Isaiah 50, 4 through 9. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary of, with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear, to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me will declare me guilty. All of them will wear out like a garment. The moth will eat them up. And she writes, over the last few years I have paid more attention to how often April Fool's Day arrives during Lent or Holy Week. Previously I had somehow missed that. This day might be accompanied by silly exchanges and jokes, especially if you share life with a child. In light of how often oral and written exchanges in society can be injurious and insulting, Maybe we can add our voices today to the kind of words that bring life. What's more, today's reading captures my playful imagination with the statement that a mere word can sustain the weary. The poet awakens each day listening for God's teaching, ready to face the adversary's insult and injury with confidence that God will provide help and vindication. Recently, as a part of our devotions, my prayer partners and I have been Sharing humorous photos or quotes it has become a habit that means that no matter what is burdening us, we can expect a reminder that we do not walk this journey alone, and that it is possible to find something to smile about each day because God provides the help we need. And she offers a prayer. God, whose words give life, use me to speak your wisdom so others will find strength to face each new day. Confidence you give us the courage to stand. Amen. We embrace this day, Wednesday. The days sort of become uh, flow together once in a while. I think I mentioned that before. But today is a new day, uh, a new start, a new chance for something new and exciting, a chance to fill the world with our, our joy, uh, with our sense of presence and peace. Uh, that words can sustain even the most weary and that even simple gestures and actions will also give us life and bring us up when we're down. Um, I hope that for today your burden is a little lighter and that you will be able to walk uh, as one with God this day. Uh, have a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow.